Thanksgiving doesn't always have to be about the turkey. There are other options. Great to have uh, Chef Paul Lillichrist back on the show with uh, some tasty, I guess, I guess affordable options, Polly boy. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but food costs are yeah. rising pretty rapidly. And I just noticed the other day that the price of turkey is pretty high this year. So for anybody who's looking for another alternative or just for weeknight dinners, cheaper cuts of chicken like boneless skinless chicken or rather bone in skin on chicken thighs are a great alternative. Okay, so how do we do it? What's the what's the best way? Because sometimes with chicken and you, you always think about you don't think about thighs, you think about chicken breasts. Why are thighs so great? So thighs are great because they are dark meat. That meat is juicier. It holds up to longer cook times. And it's also got skin, a really nice piece of skin that if cooked properly can make it really crispy on the outside and shreddy on the inside. So let me explain. So I think a lot of people have had maybe bad experiences with bone-in skin on chicken thighs. Sometimes they're undercooked or they're hard to eat. But I use what I call the 3-2 method. So 300 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. And all I've done to these is add a little bit of a dry rub. So you could use seasoned salt. You could use any dry rub you like, or sometimes I just do salt and pepper. And then I've placed them on a parchment lined baking sheet and sort of spread that skin out because you want it in one single layer. Then I put it in that oven for two hours, just forget about it. And what you end up with, check this out. You end up with beautiful chicken thighs that are slow roasted and they have this crisp, like crispy crackling on the outside. So I don't know if you could hear this, but it's got crispy Well, that's the skin, skin right? I know that's we're trying to skin. avoid the skin. And, and you know what, here's the thing, like you don't want to be eating the skin all the time, but let's treat yourself a little bit on Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, and totally. And if it's nice and cooked down and crispy, look at this. It's beautiful, it's got yeah. nice color. And, and I tell you, it just shreds on the inside. So you know when you go to the grocery store and you buy chicken wings that have sat on the hot table and they just kind of fall apart? Same idea here. Because you slow cook them at a low temperature, the inside just becomes shreddable. So it's easier to eat and it kind of feels like a fancy food just because you've taken the time to, to take care of it and cook it properly. Okay, are you, you, are you adding a sauce or what else, what else are we doing with them, Paul? So what I would do, if you're doing this for Thanksgiving, make all the regular sides. You can see in the back here, I've already got my bread ready for stuffing. I make a mushroom gravy, um, but you don't need to. I mean, I'm a saucy person. I don't know about you, like I live for my gravy, yeah. but you don't really need that here at all. So whether you're making this on a weeknight dinner or for Thanksgiving, the one thing I would say, try to time it right so that these come right out of the oven and onto the table because that skin, you know, it doesn't stay super crispy for very long. How many, I don't know, like, how many could somebody eat? Because they, they're a lot smaller, right, than, uh, let's say, a chicken breast? Well, that, I mean, that depends on the person. Yeah. I could certainly eat, I, I would eat two of these for a meal. They are rather rich. You know, you have that crackling. They're not that small. Again, it depends on the chickens. Not all chickens are created equal. But I got these. These are fairly large. And I managed to get 20 of them for, like, 28 bucks yesterday. So, right. I mean, that... For, it for is, cost effectiveness, that's pretty good. It is. It is significantly cheaper than, let's say, chicken breast or or the turkey, as as you were mentioning there too. Okay, so take us through. Yeah. So, uh, so is there, you said there's two cooks. There's one cook first. The, what's the one, two, the two, three method, or what was the method again? The two, three method. Two, three, three method. method is it's one cook. It's two hours. Okay. At 300 degrees. So that's oh, it. That's okay. just that's like it. that's, it's that's like all, all you need to do. Formula. Okay. That's right. right. The only, only thing you need to do is you need to season them at first with some kind of a dry rub or salt and pepper, no added oil, because a lot of fat comes out of that skin. And you see on the pan here, you get this beautiful brown, it's called fond, is a new term, a, a fond, which is the base for a beautiful sauce. So you can also remove these and make a quick pan sauce. While the pan is hot, you can put a splash of white wine in there, a little bit of chicken stock, and just stir it around, and that'll make a really delicious sauce. If, you just don't want to worry about making a separate but, sauce or gravy. But it's good with that. That's why the parchment paper is so great too, right? If you throw a little, you throw a little moisture on there, get that off of there, and, and you can make a gravy. Absolutely, absolutely. This no. is flavor right here. All these brown bits, that's great okay. flavor, and some of it even sticks to the side of the chicken. So I'm telling you, give this a try. You'll be shocked at how good it is and how easy it is. Okay, how many people are you having over for Thanksgiving? You having a crew over? You going somewhere else? Yeah. No, I'm going to my mom's, but we're going to have about 15, 16, so okay. it's a lot of people. So if you go so, to your mom's, who's, who's doing the cooking? You or your mom doing the cooking? We kind of tag team because, you know, everybody likes to have their hand in it. So we just kind of tag team. We have a group chat going where right. it's like, all right, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that. I always do the stuffing. That's you my always do the stuffing. Okay. 
And you yeah. don't do you don't do, you don't do this you do the stuffing separately like a lot of people do because you want that crispiness in the stuffing too. Totally, totally. I want those crispy edge pieces. And every year I do it a little bit different, depending okay. on kind of what breads I have left over. Sometimes I even use croissants in my stuffing. Okay, is that, so a croissant. Okay, chip. any other any other special ingredients that you would put in your stuffing? Maybe just a little hint for uh, anybody at home. Some kind of meat. I love sausage. Right. Sometimes I use breakfast sausage. Sometimes I use oh, bacon. Okay. Lots of caramelized onion. Certainly lots of sage. And then I, I like to add uh, stock. A really cool. good stock brings another layer of flavor. Okay, uh, Chef Paul Lillicris, great to have you uh, on the show. Great to uh, have an alternative to, 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 to turkey because not everybody likes Thanks turkey, including kind of exactly. this guy. I like, uh, I like different stuff. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, Paul. We'll see you soon. Happy Thanksgiving.